Hey everyone, and this is your TA Dahlia fam, and I thought it would be nice to try something new, which are little short discussions. So today I'll be teaching you how to find the range for your aircraft and also kind of give you some direction and uh, also fill the niche need for aircraft design shorts. So today I'm gonna introduce you to the Breguet range equation. This is a pretty popular aircraft design formula that will um, help you calculate the range. So first let's say you have an airplane in level flight of weight w so as you remember this is when all the uh, forces are balanced thrust equals drag uh, lift equals weight and so the rate of change of the gross weight is equal to the fuel weight flow so that's the parameter for a change in weight standard gravity the mass flow and if you want to use more uh, useful things that's thrust over the specific impulse so given steady level flight um, we can start making these relations and then plug that into the first equation and now if we assume l over D and ISP are constant along the flight path. And we kind of have to do that or else, you know, you're really going to bang your head against the keyboard here. Um, then we can make this relation. Now we um, integrate it and uh, we get a relation between the weights and the time. And also the time that your range is taken is from T equals zero to T equals TF. Your equation for TF is as followed. Also, just wanted to note, don't confuse TF with endurance. Endurance is the max length of time a plane is in cruise. Uh, I'll show you a quick um, formulation of that. But you won't really need endurance here uh, because, you know, range is the flight time times the flight speed. So uh, this kind of gives you the Breguet range equation and its derivation. So range is a performance parameter that describes the distance between takeoff and landing. So this is an important one to know because you're trying to beat out your competing aircraft, right? In terms of their range, if you look at the Boeing and Airbus, you can also double check these in the uh, APM. As you can see, I got one of them wrong. So now we want to know how can we calculate range? This can be done with the Breguet range equation. This is how aircraft designers get their range. So basically range is just the uh, flight time times the speed of the plane, along with parameters that you should get from um, other sub teams. Say for ISP, which is the specific impulse, these probably all look familiar. So here's where the propulsion section starts coming in. So let's rewrite the Breguet range equation. And now you see this parameter ISP, which is the specific impulse, and that's a measure of how efficiently an engine generates thrust. And it is inversely related to SFC, which is specific fuel consumption. And um, here are the equations relating thrust and ISP. And now if you want to kind of um, get some parameters off the engine data sheet, like the SFC, this is how ISP and SFC are related. And uh, how does efficiency play into this? So now we're looking at kind of thermal efficiency, you know, delta H fuel, which is the heat of combustion of the fuel. And um, then we can look at the rate of the energy release. The rate of the energy release is the mass flow times delta H fuel. And now we can get V ISP in uh, another form. And so how do we relate this to the propulsive efficiency eta? So eta is thrust power over ideal available energy. Um, plugging in those equations, you can get this relation. And then now we can have the Breguet range equation in this form or uh, that form in terms of SFC, which will kind of make your job easier as a propulsion sub team member. And you you know, that's what you're responsible for here. So now if we look at the Breguet range equations that we have now in their forms, uh, that would give the propulsion system something to do. So now some action items. First, determine what your cruise speed is, then determine what ISP, SFC, and ADA is, and propulsion system, I really want to see SFC. Then if you haven't already, get that cruise L over D, and then also get the initial weight. And the final weight, that's, you know, kind of equivalent to um, the MG Tau and then the MGLW. And now I hope you know how to get your range and how it all comes together.